my channel and I'm gonna give you 13 reasons why I'm learning to code and you should too. Is it this way? Is this 13 or is, is this 13? I, I don't know. Before I give you my 13 reasons, I just wanna say that I'm a beginner when it comes to coding and it's something that I plan to use as a career choice. It's something that's probably going to be involved in my life forever. And the whole point of this channel is sort of to draw in people and watch me grow and you guys can grow too. We can all learn to code and we live happily ever after. You get the point. Number one. Tech and information technology related companies dominate the fastest growing industries in the United States of America. You may be wondering why is that important? Well, um, I think you're more likely to get a job. Number two, there are over 4 million job openings right now that require coding skills. How cool is that? Third reason, a lot of programming openings are outside of the technology industry, like healthcare, finance, manufacturing. Fourth reason, you can use your coding skills to become a software development manager, which by the way is the fourth most paying job in America right now. Which by the way, they make 132000 a year. <laughs> Holy shit. Number five. The average person believes that you need a bachelor's degree to live a happy, successful life. Well, my young grasshopper, that's not the case. A developer survey taken in 2015 states otherwise. The results claim that nearly half of developers don't have a computer science degree. What does that tell you? Some statistics say that around 60% of people end up getting a job in something that has nothing to do with their major at all. Yeah. Number six, I'm sure we all know this, but technology runs the world. Sadly, things like social media, websites, and a lot of other things were built by code. Number seven, it is time to say goodbye to that nine to five just to stay alive life. A lot of times software engineers and developers work from home. Ooh, I just like the idea of waking up, getting on my computer, doing some code, and then that's it. I'm sure there's more to it, obviously, but I'm just saying, like, you work less hours. Number eight, if you get a job that's coding related, most likely you will have a lot of time to yourself to do whatever the fudge you want. It's all on your computer. You have so much time and space. Number nine, you can work remotely. Not in a fast food restaurant with a headset, having to deal with crappy people every two seconds. Based on personal experience, I worked at McDonald's. Number 10, one thing that I have noticed when I am building a certain program is that it almost teaches you how to think in a way. Because in my opinion, coding is somewhat logic based. Some of the strategies used to build methods which kind of control your entire program should kind of be used in everyday life. Number 11, you get a lot of career options. Let's Google this. Here's a couple jobs that you can easily land in if you know how to code. Some of them are even really related into code, but you're more likely to get that job if you know how to code or work with computers. You can become an instructional designer, a technical writer, a contact marketer, a project manager, growth hacker, don't really know what that is, customer support, a business analyst, software developer or an engineer, or even an app developer. You can build iPhone and Android apps. You get the idea. There's a crap ton of things that you can do if you know how to code because coding is almost like the roots to technology that we use today. Number 12, you feel so proud and accomplished after you complete a simple task. I'm telling you, it feels great when you're writing all this code and you click compile and it goes through without any errors, you just get that good feeling. Even as being a YouTuber, one thing that takes the most time is editing the video. Okay, you gotta cut everything, you gotta cut all your mistakes, add the music, do voiceovers, replace things, and replace the mistakes, like it takes a lot of work and time. I'd say the average amount of time it takes me to edit an entire video would be a day, basically. It takes me an entire day to edit one of my videos. This video right here will probably take me a day or so. And it's almost, it's like the same thing with coding. I'm doing a simple task and it takes me forever, but the minute I get it done, it just feels great. You get this beautiful work of art. Just like when I'm editing my videos, I get this amazing work of art that I can share with you guys. And it's the same thing with coding, in my opinion. That's why I like it so much. I never knew I would like something like this because half the time I want to kill myself, but Hey, it's worth it in the end. I didn't have made that joke, that was funny. And then the 13th reason is you can simply work for yourself and at your own pace if you really want to. You can be a freelance developer. You can do a little freelancing on the side and you can build websites and apps for other people and charge at your own rate. It's like having your own business, basically. So now it is time to get rid of that Mick job with that small Mick check and make a real living of yourself. That is 13 reasons why I have learned to code. That is 13 reasons why I personally want to learn to code and why you should too. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see what I'm doing with coding, how I'm learning, and I can teach you guys and we can both learn together and it'll be great at the end of the day. Make sure you click the subscribe and like button and if you want to see more videos, stay tuned because I will probably be uploading every single week. I am new to computer programming slash coding and it's something that I want to learn with all of you and we can all learn together. So subscribe and I will see you guys hopefully next week. Also, in case you didn't know, I have another YouTube channel called Chandler Knows Best. That's my big channel where I originally started on YouTube. 
check that out. The link is in the description below. Subscribe to that one. Add me on my social media if you would like. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.